Hello everyone and welcome back to Filmbook Review, an official YouTube channel of Filmbook. Featured in Google News, IMDb's News Desk, and a member of the Critics' Choice Association, Filmbook is an entertainment industry news website that reports on the film and television show industries in the United States and across the world. Today on Filmbook Review, I will be reviewing the film My Love Affair with Marriage, a movie that screamed at the 2022 Tribeca Film Festival. My Love Affair with Marriage is written and directed by Signe Bauman and stars Dagmara Dominski, Matthew Modane, Cameron Monaghan, Stephanie Lang, and Erica Schroeder. This is a My Love Affair with Marriage movie review, and there will be spoilers. If you like our movie reviews, please like this My Love Affair with Marriage film review, as that helps us out with YouTube's algorithm, and consider subscribing. Once subscribed, click the bell notification box and you are all set. Please also consider becoming one of our patrons on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash filmbook. And now, the My Love Affair with Marriage movie review. A labor of love about love is comically coincidental yet appropriately apt for Signe Bauman's My Love Affair with Marriage a semi-autobiographical, independently produced, animated musical that's been six years in the making, and even more, I suppose, if you count the life stories that inspired it. Bauman is a true renaissance woman when it comes to her latest feature, because in addition to being the writer, director, producer, triple threat, she also serves as the film's lead, and possibly only, animator, editor, cinematographer, and set decorator. That auteurish, all-trade approach is evident in the film's scrappy simplicity, both through the sketchy style of its characters' designs and the near-clinical approach to its writing. But that, in turn, allows the filmmaker's emotional brashness to play with an earnest, creative ferocity. The rough scribbles of the characters contrast against a textured stop-motion background, thus pulling all our focus onto their physical, and thematic pliability, as Bauman morphs them from one metaphor to another at her will. Think Marjane Satrapi, set up as a memoir juxtaposed with a medical lesson, the film flows between Zelma's life and her brain activity, with colorful explainer segments narrated by an anthropomorphic brain cell. As Zelma bounces between goalposts of anger and infatuation and fear and euphoria, coming of age during the seismic cultural shift of the Soviet Union's collapse. The cellular narrator is there to explain precisely what and why these synapses are firing off. The scientific shadow to Zelma's lived emotions. The film is a bit too literal at times, and that gives it a strange edutainment feeling that makes you wonder if you should have seen this back in your high school health class. But that blatancy allows Bauman to counter with striking personifications of the social pressures that push and pull Zelma in various directions. Her own anxieties are manifested by a chorus of siren-like Latvian peasant women, both praising and chiding her for her adherence to and diversion from traditional gender roles. Her own tamped-down rage is a feral cat that needs constant surveillance, lest it escape and hurt herself or others. Her concept of true love is melting into an amorphous blob with someone else, quite literally, with two heads, four arms, and four legs. And that's not always as sexy as you might think. That stark contrast in Zelma's Bill Dung Strummen brings the psychological messiness of her journey to the forefront. The marriage of the title is but a single aspect of Zelma's initial understanding of love and her perceived social role as a woman, and thus a love affair with it suggests the ultimate insignificance of it in her lifelong journey towards personal satisfaction. She doesn't really solve marriage, or any other concepts in her life reeking with culturally ingrained sexist expectations, but she does spend plenty of time reckoning with them, and their endless slew of convolutions, and what to do with that awareness going forward. The film, then, is more about observations than it is tangible end games, and about the propulsive power of personal revelations. Dominski lends a level-headed temerity to Zelma, and the rest of the voice cast directness suggests an alluring, false sense of security that's around every corner of Zelma's world. 
with Modine and Monghang being the two standouts. But Bauman's acting through her animation work is the true star here, as she reminds us of the limitless creative potential the medium, and independent artwork on the whole, has to offer. It's also a testament to cinema's role as the tried and true vehicle of personal retrospection that it is, the empathy machine, if you will. If that's considered a vanity project, then it's worth it to be a little self-absorbed. And that brings us to the conclusion of this My Love Affair with Marriage movie review. I would love to hear your thoughts on it below in the comments section. If you liked what you heard during this review, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Please also visit and subscribe to our podcast channel at Film Book Podcast and our trailer and reaction channel at Film Book Trailers. Thank you for viewing, and you can watch one of these reviews next.